Blessings to you all. Um, I have a word from the Lord today. It is from I don't know what book that is. <laughs> that is funny. Uh, oh, the book of Sirach. Is chapter 51. It is the chapter is titled A Prayer of Jesus, the Son of Sirach. And I'm going with verse 22 through 30. The Lord gave me a tongue for my reward, and I will praise him with that. Draw near to me, you unlearned, and lodge in the house of instruction. Say, why are you lacking in these things? And your souls are very thirsty. I opened my mouth and spoke. And spoke. Get her for yourselves without money. Put your neck under the yoke and let your soul receive instruction. She is hard at hand to find. Behold with your eyes how that I labored but a little and found myself much rest. Get instruction with great sum of silver, and gain much gold by her. May your soul rejoice in his mercy, and may you not be put to shame in him praising him. Work your work before the time comes, and in his name he will give you your reward. Okay, now I'm going to go to Second Peter. We're reading from chapter 1 until verse 11. Simon Peter, a servant of an apostle of Jesus Christ, to those who through the righteous of our God and Savior Jesus Christ have received a faith as precious as ours. Grace and peace be yours in abundance through the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord. His divine power has given us everything we need for life and godliness through our knowledge of him who called, who called us by his own glory and goodness. Through these, he has given us his very great and precious promises, so that through them you may participate in the divine nature and escape the corruption of the world, caused by evil desires. For this very reason, make every effort to add to your faith goodness, and to goodness knowledge, and to knowledge self-control, and to self-control perseverance, and to perseverance godliness, and to godliness brotherly kindness, and to brotherly kindness love. For if you possess these qualities in increasing measure, they will keep you from being ineffective and unproductive in your knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ, our Lord Jesus Christ. But if anyone does not have them, he is nearsighted and blind and has forgotten that he has been cleansed from the past to sins. Therefore, my brothers, be all the more eager to make your calling an election for sure. For if you do these things, you will never fall and you will receive a rich welcome into, into the eternal kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Okay, now I'm going to read from Matthew chapter 13, verses 24 through 30. Jesus told them another parable. parable. The kingdom of heaven is like a man who sowed good seed in the field, but while everyone was sleeping, his enemy came and sowed weeds among the wheat and went away. When the wheat sprouted and formed heads, then weeds also appeared. The owner's servants came to him and said, Sir, did, didn't you sow good seed in your field? Where then did these weeds come from? An enemy did this, he replied. The servant asked him, Do you want us to go and pull them up? No, he answered. Because while you are pulling the weeds, you may root up the wheat with them. 
Let both grow together until the harvest. At that time, I will tell you the harvesters. First, collect the weeds and tie them in bundles to be burned. Then gather the wheat and bring it into my barn. Okay, so my notes from all of this that he's been saying, he's been talking a lot about the, our eyes and our ears and our words. So I keep hearing like the, in my mind, I keep see, see, seeing the hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil, you know. Um, also, this one is, uh, I, I just heard this Perry Stone um, message that he came out with recently. But he, he was talking about the wheat in the tares too. So I'm going to kind of stem off of his uh what he was going to he was saying and he was saying like um I, i'm gonna paraphrase here he was saying that sometimes the the tares can be um the people who actually leave the church and in my opinion that that can be yes or that can be no because last year i was the one who left the church and i thought I, 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 I thought, like, man, <laughs> you know, Lord, uh, why am I forsaking my assemblies or whatever? And it was no, because uh, they, they told on themselves, really. Um, I, I kept saying in a lot of my videos last year that he speaks to me in this still small voice. And they, and they were saying that, um, sometimes it's a, it's a, a roar. Sometimes it's just like, do this now. <laughs> and and um, I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> God's yelling at you, <laughs> you know? <laughs> and so it was like, that's how I took it. But I didn't see it like that. But God's telling me that now. <laughs> like, I'm so ready for a release a year later. So, um yeah, like, uh, Perry Stone was going back to, like, sometimes those, those older, seasoned, mature generations can, uh, cop, really choke out the, the, the other wheat, and, you know, if that happens, then what, whatever, but what I was going back to was, when that happens, um, to remember your place, and that goes back to the hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil. That way, you're still keeping within your peace. Also, um, he did mention. I like the way he mentioned the the prophecies uh, in the Bible that the old men dream dreams, but the young men have visions. And the way he said it was, we need the visionaries in order to get the gospel because otherwise the old people are just going to be preaching between their four walls and the young people have the technology know-how in order to get it up 